Hi developers, today we are going to see snap cursors. This is our desired output of this video. In this, we can horizontally scroll these cursors which contain the information. So let's get started. This is the basic React app with a simple text output. Firstly, let's import the cursor in the app from the React Native Snap cursor with some other libraries. Now let's change the syntax for the export default class because we are going to use the React component. And let's remove this return function from here. Now let's first construct the props for the state and keep the active index to the zero. After this, let's create the cursor items. So for the first cursor item, let's give a title to it and some text message to show an item. Now to create more items like this, we can reuse this part and with this we can create as many items as we want. And to differentiate the items, let's give a different title to each one. Now let's create the box to put a props in it, which we have just created. Let's give a background color to it and border areas for the curved edges, height of the box, padding for the space between two boxes, margin on the both sides. And now to differentiate the title from the text, let's increase the font size of the title. And let's call the title of the item in this text component and item text in this text component. Now let's create a render state. In that, let's assign some style to the safe area view. And in this view section, let's call the cursor component. Now let's assign the style to the view section. This flex will allow the props to use the required space they need. And this flex direction row will allow the props to slide left right. And as usual, justified content to keep the content in the center. Now let's give a default layout to the cursor. With data, we call the items of the cursors, which we have already created. After that, let's give a slider width and item width. And at the end, with the help of render item, we will call the render items function. After that, we don't need these styles, so let's remove this. Now to import the snap cursor, let's open the terminal in the folder and let's go to article, which contains the direct source code and installation process. So let's copy this command and paste it in the terminal. And now let's run the app with the expo start. So we got the snap cursor and it's showing the given data but it is stick to the top. So let's drag it down a little bit with the padding top in a safe area view. So we got our desired output. So that's it guys. Make sure to check out the website. It have direct source code and installation process, which will help you to build the awesome React Native apps. So like this video and give sub to this channel and see you in the next one.